Good morning, my darling. So I've made it here to Ikea and it is a super hot day. Today's about 27 degrees and I think I'm here very early in the morning and I think it's already, I don't know, 24 degrees. <laughs> I'm melting right now. And yes, yeah, so I'm popping into Ikea just to find a few furnishings, like different stuff for my house. And um, I'm changing like my wardrobe storage for my fragrances, for my clothing. And... I'm really excited about this like really really excited you guys do not understand <laughs> how excited I am and um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys with me I'm going to go in and sort of plan the layout of my new wardrobe I'm gonna go I'm thinking of going for a Pax wardrobe a white one so yes I'm really excited about that and I'm wearing my favorite dress I love this dress it's just so comfortable after this I'm gonna head out and have some lunch so I'm hoping to spend like an hour in Ikea, which is always impossible to do. And yeah, on my face today, it's such a beautiful day. I'm not wearing any makeup today, as you can probably see. This is just my bare skin. And I do wear makeup, guys. Uh, my makeup is quite minimal. I don't wear a lot of makeup, I must admit. But I normally wear eyeliner and I fill my brows as well. I'm going to update you guys on how I maintain my look and my makeup and what I do. I'm not wearing makeup today because it's like nearly 30 degrees and I really want my, my skin to breathe and I don't want to put anything on. I think it's so nice just to have the sun just in your skin, <laughs> in your skin. Um, and it just feels healthy. Like my skin is breathing and it just feels really nice and my cheat is mascara eyeliner which i put on a little bit this morning because it's like super early in the morning <laughs> but yeah this is my skin and i'm hoping i'm hoping to um find a dermatologist as well because my skin is changing which i did talk about in a few vlogs i think a while ago anyway but that's a whole nother thing i'll talk about that later um but yeah so i just put a little bit here of this is gold deposit by mac and guys I recommend Gold Deposit and yeah, Orgasm by NARS if you're going for a bare skin look. And I'm really into minimal, delicate, feminine makeup, but my priority is skincare. I want to perfect my skincare. My skin is changing. It's getting dry. Well, a little bit dry. I just feel like after like cleansing my face is extremely dry and I feel like moisturizers are just not working for me like they used to work so it's all about skincare so now I'm just letting my skin breathe and you can probably see um it is a little bit uh glowy because <laughs> it's so hot and I'm locked in my hot car it's boiling in here um but yeah I just want the, the pores to open and I just want my skin to do its thing and I'm going to help it along by not putting on any makeup <laughs> I am melting I'm so sorry if I look a bit crazy uh, but anyway, let's go into, um, let's head into Ikea. I'm not so sure on those baskets. That's a shame. This would be nice for fragrances. I could actually remove this tray and then just have all my fragrances like lined up and I could organize them really well that way. And then I could sort of see them underneath here. I could do that. That might be an option. Then I can actually decide on my rotation what I'll be wearing. I already have something for jewelry, so this might actually work. The only thing is I'm not so keen on this basket underneath. Because of the hinges and change the design, so I 
I'm not very keen on this. It's like I know that's going to annoy me. <laughs> I don't quite like that. Um, but these are nice and deep and big. Yeah, really good storage there. A few drawers down there, but I'm really not keen on this basket. I'm really not. Um, but I can still fit three drawers, which is quite good. I don't think I'm going to go for a clear fit here. I doubt it very much. But then I can have this pull-out tray. I think that would be nice. Maybe I can put my fragrances on the pull-out. What do you guys think? I quite like that. Guys, I'm actually in panic mode. I've just realised I have so much clothes. I don't know how it's going to fit in any of these wardrobes. I'm trying to downsize. I hope I can do this properly and get things really organised because I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> oh my gosh, where am I going to fit all my stuff? Okay, let's see what I can work out, guys. and I bought this from Ikea guys and 
it's a little bit different to the one I had before. The one I had before is this colour here. And um, I didn't want the oak shade anymore. I wanted to go for something that was a lot brighter, a little bit more fresh and light to add some more light into the room. And I'm going for three drawers instead of four because the wardrobe I had before had four. But I think they've changed... Um, if I show you here, they've changed the design. So the hinges are right here at the bottom. You can see it just there. And it's sort of in the way of the door. And I decided to go for the pull-out tray because I had a basket before in one of my wardrobes. And I think it was an old design. So you used to find that lots of um, items would get stuck in between the grooves or the gaps in the basket. And I didn't like the fact that it was a bit messy, like you could see through it. So I decided to go for the pull-out tray. And it's at the bottom here. And I was thinking what I could do is maybe just add like several boxes here. So if I grab a box here, so just for example, I could put maybe this one here or something like that. And I could just store them in that area like that, pull it out. Um, but that's just an idea and I could, you know, stack it up or I could just buy individual boxes to create more storage or I might even put fragrances that um, I'm not wearing very often because I'm thinking of decluttering. Um, I haven't done that in a very, I don't think I've ever done it to be honest. So um, I'm thinking about maybe just putting everything here on this tray, but I, I'm not sure yet. That's just to give you guys an idea. But I like the storage here nice and deep and yeah it's exactly the same as what I had before I don't know if it's just me but I feel like this system feels a little bit thinner than what I had before actually and um, then I've got my drawers here which is see-through glass with a wooden border or trim along which I do like and this is extremely tall guys <laughs> So I'm going to be storing, I think right at the top here, I'm going to store maybe all my empty boxes that I want to keep because I keep them for you guys and for myself as well. But like just for videos, I can show you what the entire product looks like and how it comes in its packaging. But I'm really excited about this. I really love it. So I just wanted to show you some of the or a part of the stage that I'm at now. So this is one of the reasons why I'm not making any videos because I had to pack away all of my fragrances in boxes, keep them safe during this time, and so they don't you know, get broken or smashed or anything like that. So yeah, um, the guys have been working so hard, doing so much stuff in the house. I'm like really shattered. It's almost like 11.30 tonight. And um, yeah, I just want to film this quickly because no builders, no drilling, soaring, <laughs> there's no noise. It's actually quiet now, so I can quickly show you. And so this wardrobe here is really tall. This is the 2.37. And um, I really want to make the most out of this because what I had before was only two meters tall. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm still working out um, what I'm going to do. And yeah, lots of dust. I have so much cleaning to do. You can see like in the drawers, there's like dust and particles and things like that. So yeah, it's taken me some time. I'm slowly getting there, guys. That's the door you can see just there. And um, yeah, so I can't wait to share that with you. And actually, let me just try this. I just want to see how... Because if you remember one of my other videos, I did store all my fragrances quite similar to this. Oh, guys, yeah. So um, this is a fragrance I bought. I would say I bought this perhaps a month ago now and I haven't unboxed it yet. Can you believe I've had it for so long and I haven't unboxed this for you guys because I want to share it with you. So um, I'm keeping this and I'm so tempted to open it, but I want to open it with you guys. This is a new fragrance in my collection that uh, it's a bit of a hint. So um, <laughs> definitely turn your notifications on and subscribe to my channel so that you can 
hear my reviews on this fragrance. This was released last year. And as you guys know, I buy fragrances when I like them. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, you know, I tried it again on my skin and it's really beautiful. I fell in love with the milky notes and the marshmallow, orange blossom notes in here. That's my kind of thing. Anyway, um, yeah, so stay tuned for an unboxing of that there. So to the right, we have the oak drawers and yeah, I mean, just looking at the color, this adds so much more brightness to my room. Um, it's just gonna make a really nice dressing area. So I'm quite excited about that guys. So I will update you soon. And um, yeah, so the walls in my house are like so super, I don't know the word to describe it, so thick. Um, you cannot even get a drill through it. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. And I actually wanted to move this a little bit along so I can make some space for some lighting, but I see how that goes. I have a feeling I won't be able to get any lighting in here. So if you guys have any tips in regards to adding lighting into your cupboard without using an electrical point or access, maybe if it's just battery operated, let me know what your thoughts are on the lighting. Is it worth buying? Um, because I'm thinking of doing that because I don't think I'll be able to get my lights back in here like I did with my last um, cupboard. But yeah, you know, I have these drawers and I just want to say that um, I was thinking of, so basically this is to store all of my fragrances and then my lotions, cream, shower gels, things like that. And I just prefer it like this, guys, because the only thing is when you move the drawer, of course, they do tend to shuffle around a bit. But I might add like something on the base here to stop it from sliding around. Um, but yeah, I really like, so for example, I really like putting things in the drawer. It looks so uniform and neat and tidy. If I could just quickly grab, what do I have here? And please excuse all the dust because we've had drilling and sawing and all sorts going on in my house. So um, my house is super, super dusty. Actually, I'm so excited to like clean down the house, make it super clean and shiny and polish like all of my products and stuff. Let me know if you'd like to see a clean with me video, if that would interest you, let me know. But yeah, I really love how it just looks so... Let me just move a bit of this sawdust or something there okay um i love how it just looks so neat and tidy when you just put everything together like that um but look at the space if i show you look at all that space um yeah so much space there so anyway guys i'm so excited <laughs> and i'm gonna update you guys soon with another video um and i'll show you the progress soon so i'm off now to bed and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.